in Jewish life, there is a quote from our sacred traditions that the world stands on three things, truth, restorative justice, and peace. If there is no truth, and that means we don't understand what's happening to Palestinians, there cannot be restorative justice. And if there is not restorative justice, there is not peace. We are knowing how much we are in need for peace more than any other nation in the world because we never experience peace in our life. So we are longing for peace. We did uh, an exercise uh, with our kids at school um, and we asked them to paint what would they like uh, Santa uh, to bring them for Christmas. And guess what was the answer? Peace. And for me, I mean, children really, they express what their parents what their uh, people around them are saying. And this is an indication to me that our people really, you know, are praying for peace, they are working for peace. And, um, you know, they, they hope that actually the international community would realize that actually the international community so far has been part of the problem rather than part of the solution. We have to understand what is happening to the Palestinians. And I, people have asked me this question so often. And in my book, Trail Guide to the Torah of Nonviolence, I decided to make a list of the things that are happening to Palestinians. And I listed 75, it's very incomplete, such things as being against the law to teach their own history of what happened to them in 1948, the Nakba, that's against the law erasing their geography, literally taking away markers and covering over sites, using archaeological digs and tourism to claim Israeli space. Today, actually, um, with all the settlement activity uh, that is going on uh, in the occupied territories in the West Bank, uh, with the, uh, the wall that is really strangling our cities, I think the international community uh, has realized that uh, the current Israeli government is really the obstacle to peace. Palestinians, they are in greater need for peace than any other in this region, including the Israelis, for one reason, that we are losing our land on a daily basis. We are cornered on a daily basis. Even the slogan of the two-state solution is not valid anymore. If you look around, today the Palestinians they are controlling less than 13% from their land. In Bethlehem, here we are controlling less than 12% from our land. Denial of access to water, deliberate destructions of tens of thousands of trees, turning off electricity, limited fuel, limiting access to food, siege, blockade, mass killing of uh, civilians, garbage dumps and environmental hazards on Palestinian land, checkpoints, transfer stations, security zones, humiliation, it goes on and on. When you look at that, you are looking at structural violence. The question that, or the idea that Palestinians don't want peace is completely absurd. Who wants to live under those conditions? Who, in their right mind with family, wants to live under those conditions? That is an insult to the entire uh, awareness of the world to say that Palestinians don't want peace. They don't want submission. They don't want occupation. They don't want forced uh, removal from their lands. That's what they don't want. Palestinians want peace. Palestinians deserve peace. And you know, this country is longing for peace since 3,000 years. It's, over, it's long overdue.